Hello. This is your weekly day-by-day -day tarot cards reading by Emma for the week beginning 25th of July 2022. Starting with Monday, of course, the 25th of July. This is Seven of Swords for you. Nine of Wands, Tuesday. Three of Pentacles, Wednesday. Seven of Cups, Thursday. Strength, Friday. Eight of Pentacles, Saturday. And Three of Swords, Sunday. Queen of Cups, your influencing energy. Seven of Swords on Monday with <clears throat> Page of Cups. Nine of Wands with Five of Cups. Three of Pentacles Wednesday with Ace of Swords. Seven of Cups Thursday with a Six of Pentacles. Strength Friday with the Nine of Cups. Eight of Pentacles Saturday with Queen of Swords. Three of Swords with Six of Wands. Sunday. The Devil. Queen of Cups, your influencing energy. Look, Queen of Cups, beautiful, emotional, passive energy. Um, maybe your mother, maybe your sister, somebody who loves you. Or is it just you showing yourself with that sort of energy, being satisfied with yourself, perhaps overly, you know, wasting your time in a way. <laughs> okay, last week, perhaps you could have done something productive, but you were satisfied with something, with yourself, and you simply didn't move because you were enjoying the moment, didn't want to spoil it for yourself. In that sense, these two energies could be taken, perhaps influencing me this week, um, very much. Perhaps this sort of little bit of laziness, a little bit of taking time off, enjoying your moment, enjoying good times, perhaps force you now to get back to work or carry on with the very same, I don't know, we'll see just now, okay, on Monday, perhaps with Seven of Swords and Page of Cups, talks about that is en enough is enough, you have to move on. Still tricky energy, okay, that we have from here, from earlier on with the Devil, with Seven of Swords, something sneaky, something tricky, something a little bit manipulative, trying to find an easier way, okay, not to sweat much, with something. You see what I'm saying? Um, you were with this childlike energy, very optimistic. It seems to me this kind of lazy okay, energy, enjoying the moment, enjoying your success, enjoying your comfort in a way, which you found earlier on, is very present here as well. Okay, It's carry on with the very same thing. And even being a little bit immature with your expectations. From now on, it's only happiness and comfort for you. You will enjoy. You see what I'm saying? Easy life for you, not effort spent. Often this can talk about gambling, something maybe you got through gambling, through luck. Okay, you are enjoying it from earlier on and you think on Monday, oh, I will just go like that, easy going. I'll always have it. I'll always gonna be in on this gambling machine or something. You see what I'm saying? A little bit tricky energies that you have from earlier on and Monday relying on your luck on your comfort some sort of comfort you achieved uh, believing that it's going to be from now on just like that easy for me but it's not going to happen look this nine of wands says something outstanding will catch up with you here with nine of wands there is something outstanding there is something that needs to be done that needs to be completed perhaps you do have some sort of project okay from some time ago and now you are dragging it forever forever nine of wands says now is the time you have to do it this is kind of if you don't do it now you will lose that what you achieved already that what you have done that what you completed already something is behind this person something has been done something completed your reputation your knowledge your success something you've done something you have already if you don't finish it it's gonna be in vain it's not gonna count in that sense you have to complete it otherwise it's a loss for you that sort of Tuesday comes to hit you with this 
stick, you know, you have to do it. Now you are very unhappy about that, this is a very sad moment for you. Maybe something that you thought is done and dusted, is completed, it's not on your way anymore. You don't have to attend it ever again, comes back. Often nine of wands means something that you have to repeat or redo or something gets faulty and you have to attend it. Perhaps there is this sadness because of that. You thought that you completed it. You thought it's done successfully, but it wasn't. You were seeing it now as a failure. It's a big drama you are making out of something which is not much. It's just to be done. It's only that you didn't count that you have to do it again, okay? Or that you have to do it at all. In that sense, this day you are very disappointed that you have to do something on this day. Because you have to. This is not want it or not. This is have to, okay? Otherwise, massive loss. And you do understand that. And you are making big drama about it. You are very unhappy. Often they say about this five of cups, crying over spilled milk, okay, and perhaps on this day it is just like that. You are overreacting in a negative way, disappointed, devastated, you know, but it's it's nothing. It's actually something that you're supposed to do. It's not a big deal. Or in that sense, perhaps this Tuesday. Three of Pentacles with Ace of Swords, your Wednesday. Now, lovely Three of Pentacles. This is doing things, being very practical, okay? This is your new skill, okay? Your um, new group of people you are um, cooperating with. This is doing something around your home. Something very new. This is Ace of Swords with Three of Pentacles. Talks about truly seeing what's your way forward. Practically, okay, how to do these things and what it's going to mean for you from now on. Often Ace of Swords talks about um, cutting away or dealing with some difficulties on your way, some, some bumps on the road, something outstanding. I would like to refer to this Tuesday, perhaps on this Wednesday, is that's your understanding, this is bump on the road. I've got my new job, I've got my new skills, I've got my new business or something very exciting. Just to deal with this nuisance that I have on my way and then off to go. I will make my money, I will make my business, I'll be successful. You see what I'm saying? New employment in a way could also be something like that here on Wednesday. But by all means, we are talking something very practical, okay, which does have a future in your life, okay? Three of Pentacles is exciting energy. You are liking it. You want this to stay in your life. Knowledge, skill, job, people, doesn't matter. You like it, this Three of Pentacles. And now perhaps you have to first deal with something outstanding and then off to go with something which you really like. In that sense, this Wednesday, very lovely day. Seven of Cups with Six of Pentacles. Now, uh, Seven of Cups talks about your uh, dreams, imaginations, um, your options, possibilities, okay? Everything which is on your mind that could happen for you, could possibly manifest in your life. This is nothing real, okay? Seven of Cups has got no reality at all, nothing on the ground, right? It's all on your mind, but perhaps it's a first step before you ground things, okay? You first, you have to think of it, um, dream about it, imagine yourself into this situation. So you will know what it feels like, what you really like, what you don't like. In that sense, perhaps your day, very dreamy day, fantasizing, dreaming, exploring your options. Look, with the Six of Pentacles, it means that you are changing, okay? Maybe somebody is instrumental here because we do have people, two different type of people here, people who are in need and another one who is helping, charitable, helpful, giver, in that sense, perhaps you are expecting, you do have on your mind somebody, some concrete person who will help you, okay, with your goals, with your options, you are choosing the best option for yourself and you know this person is standing by you, will help you get it will provide you money for it you see what i'm saying maybe your parent but you are counting on somebody to stand by you helping you to choose to go right way or in that sense okay this um, 
Thursday, mostly about your choices. Uh, you seriously count on somebody to stand by you, helping you to make decision, okay, about which way to go, or simply once you make decision yourself, you will have somebody to help you to go for it. Anyhow, you are counting on helpful person there. Now, <clears throat> Friday, I think it is um, full moon in Leo and uh, this is perhaps really good day for you uh, Leo energy strength energy with the nine of cups you are after that what you are wishing for that's your wish card okay maybe something on this day on this Leo full moon for you to wish for to strongly stand for that what is your fondest dream, wish, that what you really want for yourself, your life to look alike, that what you really want to have or whatever would emotionally fulfill you. Dream of it, stand by it strongly on this day. Do not give up, do not change anything about it. Just stand for it. There's opportunity, there's options for you. Don't go for anything lesser than the best. Then that what you really want for yourself. That what your wish is. Just go for it. Stand by it. Okay? It will come. It will happen. Stand by it. That's your Friday. It's not wish is fulfilling on this day. But stand by it. You will fulfill that wish. Don't go for anything lesser than that. Eight of Pentacles, okay, and Queen of Swords. Now, you've got your clarity, of course. This is exactly skill which you're supposed to keep up with. This is a job you're supposed to keep up with. This is something which you're supposed to carry on with. That's your way. Just carry on with that. You've got on your mind idea what you want to achieve. You can to the certain point with your knowledge, with your skill. Just carry on, okay? Don't change anything in this regard. There where you are, with your fondest dreams and wishes, okay? Go for it. It's That's your way. You came to the certain point, just carry on. In that sense, your energies, okay? Don't fantasize much about what else you could do. No, just go with that what you know how. This is your skill work. This is your studies. This is what you know now here on Saturday. Go with that. That will fulfill your dreams and wishes. Carry on. Now, six of wands says carry on look both of these or looking towards that side go this way this career this studies this knowledge that's your way just carry on don't stop no slight disappointment you have on sunday perhaps i don't know hurtful situation that you're supposed to heal you will heal it okay you're leaving it behind maybe you've been dreaming you perhaps did have I don't know, irrealistic dreams that you will make your life with gambling or I don't know, something. You see what I'm saying? Perhaps you've been irrealistic with your options, okay? Now, this week it says you will understand that this is your way, that schooling, that's what you are studying right now, that what you are doing right now, that skill that you already obtain to the certain point, carry on, it will take you further. This is your winning path. You are on to it already, okay? Nothing to change in here. Just carry on. You will be successful. You will be abundant. You know, control yourself. Put some strength into that. What you do, you will get results. It's inevitable. It's just this road to go through. You are in the process. You'll get there. Give yourself some time. Carry on. You are on the right path. And disappointment perhaps stands because this is something long-standing, this is work, this is skill, and you want it maybe quicker, shortcut, uh, more glamorous or something, okay? But you will heal. This isn't a big deal, this Three of Swords. It will pass, particularly that you have this winning energy riding on your tall horse. That's your winning path. You do understand, eventually, I'll get there. So um, you won't be disappointed for too long. Results perhaps you are expecting very soon. Anyway, Leo, enjoy it.